Hello everyone, it's me David, and today we're going to be making some soap. Uh, some of you have asked about the molding for the soap, and actually with this video, you'll get to see the, the entire process, um, me actually cutting the soap. So what I wanted to start off with is actually showing you some different types of molds that you could use for your soap when you're making the soap. Now the key thing for your soap is to make sure that the thing that you put it in is able to handle heat um, because when the soap is saponifying um, it, it actually increases in temperature and it gets uh, fairly hot when it's um, saponifying. So one of the things that you could use, they make these really really neat molds um, that you can actually put in the oven um, and make uh, different types of brownies and stuff like that or you can make soap, just put soap in there. I've used this one for some soap and it, it makes a really good uh, mold and really you can just flip the the soap out when you're finished there and there's no problem actually getting it out of this mold. Another type of mold that a lot of people like to use are wood molds. Um, I actually had somebody make me this wood mold here and um, it's got a, a little uh, latch here that you can open up and you can actually open up the mold and then you can just take the soap out and you can see it, it makes it look like a, a loaf here and you can just cut the bars after you've taken them out. So it's, a, it's really a really, really good um, way to make soap. And another key thing or another good feature about wood is it actually keeps the heat in when the soap is saponifying. And that's one of the things that you want to do when you're uh, letting the, the soap cure is you want to make sure that you keep the heat in while it's curing. Now the, the type of mold that I like to use is really just a cardboard box. Now what I've done with this cardboard box is it actually was kind of tall and so I cut it in half. Um, I lined the inside of the cardboard box with um, tape on all the corners so that nothing would leak. And also a lot of cardboard boxes they have a, um, a middle section here that um, is open uh, or doesn't have all the cardboard that fills it. And so what I did was I actually used one of the leaves from the, uh, the leftover part of this box, cut it and just filled in this and then put a piece of tape over this. Now with um, all these molds except for this one, uh, except for these types of molds, what you're going to need to do is you're going to want to line them with wax paper or some, something that will keep the oil um, inside, of, uh, inside of the mold that you've got. Now, don't worry if your mold looks like it's um, leaking a little bit with some of the oil if you use wax paper, especially if you're using the cardboard box. Um, that's fine, just as long as it's not pouring out the sides, um, you're, you're going to be fine there with this type of mold or with this wood type of mold here. Either one that you're going you're to have to line up with um, wax paper. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with this mold right here because this is the mold that I'm going to be using. Um, and then we'll come back and start actually making the soap. So now that we have the mold lined in wax paper, we should be good to go here. Um, what I've done is I've actually done two sheets of wax paper, one going down like this, one going across like this, and then just putting tape around the edges and up the corners of the, the wax paper so that uh, nothing should leak out from our mold right here. So we'll just set this aside. Make sure we've got everything ready for the uh, for making the soap here. So we've got our safety equipment, we've got our containers that we need, we've got the oil that we'll be using. Um, make sure we've got a scale because we need to make sure we weigh everything, uh, a thermometer, and then lastly but uh, most importantly, we need a paper and a pen or a pencil to write down all the different weights and the different oils that we put into this. So for this recipe, um, I've actually already weighed out the oils and what we've got is 16.2 ounces of coconut oil, we've got 10.2 ounces of palm oil, 11.6 ounces of soybean oil, 15.2 ounces of olive oil, 3 ounces of castor oil to help with the bubble, and 6.3 ounces of peanut oil, and then we're going to super fat with 3 ounces of shea butter. We're also going to be using two different colors for this soap. Uh, I'm going to try and do a swirl pattern in the soap and uh, so for that we'll, we'll do something special when we actually um, are getting the soap to trace. Um, 
So the next thing that we have to do is we'll have to measure out uh, or figure out how much uh, lye and how much water we're actually going to need for this.